give you a look at this intriguing little device. I bought this as a dock, a um, cradle, a charging cradle for an iPad 2 which is bought for grandma's Christmas present and I wanted to make it as easy as possible for her to use hopefully to do video conferencing via her TV and this device really does fit the bill quick look at the packaging it comes with a little pamphlet of instructions uh, also nice bonus here is a remote control an infrared one a giveaway from the little black window at the front of the device so yeah it, it comes packaged like this and then you flip open this back to support your iPad 2 and around the back you have the all-important HDMI it's a analog audio line out which probably I won't use since uh, this also supports the sound anyway it's a 30 pin connector that to plug in your standard um, Apple device charging and data cable thingamajig here what else is there? This USB, it serves a multitude of functions in itself. Um, you can stick in a keyboard so you can type, or a camera. It works as the camera kit too, so what a brilliant device, if it works. Now, this button here isn't a home screen button. The HDMI, all this other stuff, it works without uh, plugging in the power via that 30 pin connector. But if you do have that in there, it charges at the same time, and to activate the charging, click on this button and then a red LED light flashes here to let you know. Let's give it a whirl shall we? Stick in the iPad. It works for iPhones as well apparently. Nope. Switches on. Bingo! And it starts playing as well immediately from where you left off. The sound you can hear is coming through the HDMI and out the TV, it's not coming out the iPad anymore. And as you can see it's a portrait cradle and the display on the TV is also portrait. And if I flip it over to the side, the TV goes full screen and the display is no longer shown here on the iPad. Now I think that is only the case with video that you go full screen on the TV and not on the iPad itself. Because if you go browsing, let's have a look on Safari. Yeah, it's landscape and then portrait on both. It flips simultaneously. Now the nice thing I noticed that I didn't realize on an iPad was that you can play videos inside the browser as well. Isn't that cool? So the idea is to get video conferencing full screen for grandma in the living room. Much easier than getting to teach her how to use a Windows laptop. Yes, to show you the remote working, I suppose. All right, play. I think it's buffering again, is it? Not much use this remote. <laughs> but already as a charging cradle with HDMI out. And oh, of course, I've tried the, the camera kit thing. And yeah, it works. You just plug in a USB into your camera. Hey presto, it starts importing photographs and grandma can upload it to me. Good stuff.